Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I know it's been forever since I've made a video, but I will show you why. So today's look is all about ease and making you look light, bright, and awake. I had Sunday fun day yesterday, it's Monday morning, I was feeling kind of like haggard and ugly to be honest with you, so I wanted to do a look that was really easy to achieve, that was just like simple steps, but just makes you look like a polished princess. So I hope you like it, if you have any questions leave them below, and if you're in the Vancouver Portland area, come into Glam Beauty Bar and see me in person. So hope you're having a great day, talk to you guys soon, bye. Okay guys, as always, we start out prepping our eyes, priming them. This is the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. I'd like something that's flesh tone, and then we will get rolling with Makeup Geek Creme Brulee. Makeup Geek shadows are so inexpensive. They're so awesome. I really, really love them. And I love to just take my Sigma E35 and start carving out my crease. This is our transition shade. This is gonna create depth and dimension. And then we are moving on to a beautiful foiled shadow from Makeup Geek called In the Spotlight. So I'm starting out with a brush and that gives a really diffused, like pretty shimmery look. But if you really wanna pile that color on and see a lot of it, just go with the good old fingertip. So I'll put some on my finger there and I'm just pressing it into the skin and that'll help kind of make the color even more intense. So now we're taking Max Smolder. This is a beautiful eye coal, just right under the lash line there. It looks a little crazy, but just helps seal everything in. And then when we wanna look bright and awake, we need those lashes up, on and popping. So good old Revlon curl them up and then move on to mascara. This is my new favorite mascara right now. It's a Benefit Roller Lash. It helps kind of curl your lashes naturally up anyways. I'm so happy about it. I'm doing a dance. Now we're moving on to Coco Bear. So I love, love, love warm tones, especially like if you're feeling sort of are like dead and you want your skin to look better, warm them up, sister. And then just take that E40, buff it out, and then I'm gonna highlight right under the brow bone because that's gonna lift the eye. It's gonna make everything look brighter and bigger. And as you can see here, I'm taking my Fix Plus and just dousing my skin. When you are tired, your skin needs hydration. So we're gonna use the uh, Epicurean Eye Alive Serum. It's gonna tighten the under eye. I'm gonna clean up the eyeshadow that's underneath and make everything look a little bit fresher putting on my Nourish Moisturizer from Epicurean as well. Just hydrate, hydrate, hydrate your skin so that it looks beautiful and you can't tell how tired you are. So moving in that theme, I'm using my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This truly does make your skin look luminous and beautiful and dewy all day long. And then concealing. Concealer is our BFF when we're tired. This guy is my favorite Max Pro Longwear NW20 and I'm taking a generous amount as you can see and just going over the high points of my face so that I look light and bright and beautiful and like I'm super rested even though I am certainly not. So pressing that in, taking my Kabuki brush, this is the Sigma F80, and just making sure there's no harsh lines, and then I'm gonna set everything. This is Max Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Just gonna set everything, basically, everywhere I put concealer. So for me, I'm really dry, but I need everything to stay in place because I want my makeup to look good all day long. So I don't wanna add any additional coverage. I'm just setting everything with that translucent powder. Then I'm moving on to the big black book of bronzers. Gonna just highlight. I'm not doing any crazy contouring. I'm just gonna sort of bronzy bronze my skin and make it look luminous and sun-kissed. Even though I'm super fair, I'm just going right on the cheekbones, I'm gonna take a little bit up on my forehead as well, and I'm a little tired, so I got a little heavy-handed there. Just take my kabuki and blend it back out. You'll never know the difference. Cut off any of those harsh edges there, and you will look like a pro. Moving on to the Little Rock Tantalizer. This just gives kind of a healthy, glowy, luminous name of the game. We're just looking dewy left and right. So taking my Anastasia Brow Wiz, this is in medium brown, and as you can see, I just go along the edge, like on the bottom, and then I'm gonna start to sculpt out the top, and you will see what a difference it makes to do your brows. Even on a day that you're having lighter makeup, for me, this is a lighter makeup day, you definitely wanna fill your brows in because it just frames your entire face, and I love this Brow Wiz because the pencil is thin enough that you can draw everything on, but it doesn't look too drawn. So as you can see, Beautiful, beautiful, and then my very favorite pencil from MAC, this is Teddy. I recommend this to every single one of my clients. Just putting that along the bottom and nothing drives me crazier than a really harsh bottom 
eyeliner. I think it looks crazy. So I always like to take a powder and just buff it out. This is kind of like setting your makeup as well. Same way we did with the concealer. This is a beautiful Laura Mercier shimmer shade. I don't have it with me, so I'll put it in the bottom bar right now, but you just want something that's really, really frosty and kind of pretty, but not too crazy. We're just popping it right there in the corner, finishing off with some mascara, and then moving on to my beautiful NARS. This is a blush. NARS always has crazy names, so this one is crazy, and I'll put it down there as well. So taking that Laura Mercier same uh, eyeshadow color and just putting that right on the tops of my cheekbones to highlight 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 because I'm so fair if you're darker than me then you definitely need to go a little darker than this but you know that you know the deal so this is Nightingale a beautiful pencil from Mac and I'm just gonna roll with this pencil today I really really like the way it looked usually I'm a gloss girl but I thought it looked so awesome that I was feeling myself with this look so if you are loving this you can stop here but me glam girl i was like mm, i think i need to add some lashes so going in with some of my favorites these are from red cherry they're number 43s and they just really intensify and glam and girly the look up so pick and choose if you want to do that certainly you can if not you're all good hope you guys enjoyed i'll be back soon love you bye okay no talking okay. Can you hear me typing? um i don't think so you want to pop your little head in here and say hi? Okay. So profesh. Okay. Do your thing. I'm not even Do your thing. Shimmer. So white. Good thing about being so white, you can do a hot white shimmer and it looks like a highlight. Mm. Frosted. Okay. I'm not used to having an audience in here with me. I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay. Yeah, girl. Okay. You gonna say anything or am I just like... What do I say? Come come here, you little nugget. <laughs> <laughs> what do I say? Whatever you would normally... Whatever you would normally <laughs> say. Come here, little nugget. Come here. <laughs> so, so you there. talking to a baby. You there. Come here, my little princess. <sighs> Look who it is. Hi, guys. I am princess. Yes. <laughs> We've been so busy and so exhausted, but we love being business owners and soulmates. <laughs> okay, have fun. Okay. This girl's amazing and a genius. Okay, bye. Thanks, bye. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Am I in focus or not? Oh man, this whole time I hope I was in focus. I think so. Beautiful. If not. That's really sad.